most people know of Renaissance as having Annie Haslam as lead singer, but there were two albums before that that Jim McCarty formed after the Yardbirds. There was the self-titled Renaissance album from November 1969 and its follow-up, Illusion, in 71. Both of them featured former Yardbirds drummer Jim McCarty and original Yardbird singer Keith Relf, as well as his sister, Jane Relf. Pete died of electrocution, though there have been a lot of conspiracy theories about his death. Some folks saying he jumped in the shower and electrocuted himself on purpose. But the real thing is much less glamorous. It was just accidental electrocution. We talk about the beginning, those first two albums of Renaissance. When Annie Halson eventually uh, led the band, uh, Renaissance. Uh, so what happened there? All of a sudden, you guys are recording two albums, and all of a sudden, the band changes. Yeah, how funny. Um, I don't know. It, it sort of got, it lost its magic, or, uh, and, and it got, it became a bit like it was before, you know, Oh no, we, we we've got to go and play tours. <laughs> oh, that <laughs> we got to do that all again, and um, and the touring sister uh, touring didn't work out quite so well with that lineup. Uh, those guys weren't really like tourers; it was all new, new for them, and so particularly Jane had a lot of difficulties, uh, you know, touring, and she was very up and down. It, you know, Jane compared to Annie, you know, Annie's a sort of bit of, quite a tough girl, you know. <laughs> well, she's still doing it. Yeah, yeah, she's still at it. And she, she, you know, she really knows the rope. She's, she's, she's quite, uh, she's quite a strong person. So Keith was only 33 when he died? From yeah. The, it was, that, that's crazy, isn't it? Like freakish. Yeah, it's very odd. It's, it's it's a very strange story, and um, um, I, I don't know how it could, could have happened, but you know, apparently it did. I don't know whether he had anything to do with it or not. You know? Yeah, it's a, it's. I've heard many renditions of it. Yeah. Uh, I so like, I would like to say, <laughs> speaking of that long break, uh, what did you do? Uh, well, what, when between when what, after between, sixty after sixty eight uh, into the seventies, what 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 was going on? Well, uh, we we carried on. Of course, we were still under contract, and Keith and I used to write songs, and we did some recordings for EMI, and then uh, it was suggested we formed another band and we'd do our own songs, and that was Renaissance, and then that sort of folded. Um, we, we did various things, that, uh, and we were going to um, reform Renaissance with Keith, and then he died, uh, and we sort of had, had a certain momentum, and all of a sudden that sort of took off creatively, uh, and I started to sing with, with, with Jane, and um, we, we created a band that was called Illusion, which we couldn't use Renaissance, it was already the other band going. And um, funny enough, there's a box set coming out next month of Illusion of all the old stuff we did. Of four, it's four CDs. It's great. How do they? How, how do people get it? The where is there a record company? Who's a record company? Do you know? John Demon uh, Records in England, which is run by the BBC, but they can get it on Amazon. We'll have more from Jim McCarty, the only remaining member of the classic lineup of the Yardbirds in the next few days and look in the description for when we release the entire interview with Jim talking about all the great guitarists, of course, most notably Eric Clapton, Jimmy Page, Jeff Beck, and all the stories of the Beatles in the description of this video. I'm John Bogan, this is Rock History Music. Thank you.